how much of our manifest reality can we say that we have created all of it right and the part of the reality that we are creating is the thought and the emotion because that's how we bring to life whatever it is that is going on around us so to give you an example say you're driving and suddenly something happens and you're unable to make the move that you had to move and then someone just stops with their window down and they make sure to tell you where did you get your driving license from or you know someone makes a comment what do you do what do you do right if that it doesn't phase you or it almost does right but you're able to get on top of it we are progressing on our path so daily check-ins are very very vital for us so that we know so spiritual awakening in daily life is as you're going through your routine in the morning so you wake up right a spiritually awakened person a one who's on the awakening path pays attention to what went on while i was asleep what are these dreams telling me right you are aware of everything that is happening which side am i waking up left or right yeah so you don't necessarily have to be actively aware in terms of the mind where you are thinking about oh this is what i'm doing no but you are silently aware of what is happening inside of you and you're aware of the possibility of how your mood might be impacted during the day how is the weather is it hot is it cold am i being affected by that is there something outside of us what stimuli outside of me is making me feel a certain way so the beauty of a spiritually awakening a spiritual awakening process i do this all the time <laughs> is that you have an acute awareness of how you are doing during the day so whenever something happens that tries to tilt you off balance even if you have been tilted off balance right eventually it won't tilt you off balance any more but you might something might still pop up in our manifest reality but it won't phase us and eventually those events won't pop up any more right so what we are creating every day and making it our reality is everything that we are giving our life force to everything that we're giving our power to our thought to our emotion to our prana to our five senses to right now as we turn inward as everything else awakens inside of us and then we dive into the other existence yeah there's less power to everything that is happening outside but where we get a problem is when all of these things are happening at the same time this is why there's a school of thought like i've said all the time that advocates for you to prepare your body and the body's intelligence so not just physically how you should be uh, you know be whether you're healthy what you're eating your diet no not just that but your mind right where are you so meditation breath work yoga physical yoga eventually lead you to yoga which is a union now before that now if you've had spontaneous awakenings because you're having this hypersensitive and going through this awakening process and at the same time dealing with spiritual awakening process in mundane existence daily life right it becomes very very difficult but the good news is with practice consistency attention everything just simply gets better and better and better it's okay if you feel like taking some time out meaning that you might want to go somewhere for some work to be done maybe go and receive some beautiful healing you'll be you'll feel you know you'll feel the pull to go towards something do it without any judgment right 
So spiritual awakening in daily life will give you the level of awareness that will always tell you where you are, right? So back to whoever says to you, oh, you know, la la, any of your triggers, they are not the problem. It's got nothing to do with them. The power we are giving to it, which is in our control, is what we've got to minimize. Now, why is it as conscious as you are about all this and you know, yes, I know, I know I need to look inside and why am I still not getting it and why do I still keep reacting in the same way? Yes, okay, my reactions are a bit better, more contained, but I'm still going through the same, you know, it's why is it even still popping up? This is where the brain has to go through rewiring. And now as your kundalini energy, so if your spiritual awakening has matured into a kundalini awakening, so if you like, your spiritual awakening is a step towards kundalini awakening. So you can be spiritually awake and not have a kundalini awakening or have a kundalini awakening and not have a spiritual awakening. So now if that eventually the processes are running together and are together and the kundalini is now rising as soon as it crosses from the throat to the third eye there's no going back down again it's just up and then it'll just stay up right and this is where your entire dna your brain gets rewired and it sticks so there'll be no toing and froing. There'll be no going back to the old self, right? You're, you're just going to stay in this state. As long as we're still going through the process and we're still going through the various meridians and energy points, there is always a chance of going back down again. But the consciousness shift will always remain so that you will always want to, you will gravitate towards it. Whether it's in this lifetime across another dimension is another story. For another post lots of love don't forget to leave me a comment and even a request for any particular post you'd like me to work on lots of love take care from my heart to yours